Hello everyone, um, here's a new video, this one will, will be very short and it's about a new update we have, it's again Marshmallow for the Gear 2 and Gear 2 Neo and this time it's a lot more stable. Um, I think you guys liked the version from the previous week but trust me this one is better, it's a lot smoother, faster and overall mo more stable. Uh, something that's new is the calling feature. We haven't been able to make it work properly, so it's disabled. You won't uh, be able to enable the speakers here for calls, so it will tell you it's not working. Um, but for the speakers, they are actually working. You can see here, you're going to Google Play Music. This is one of the only um, like music applications that allow you to play from a watch at least till today and you will excuse me but this is the only song I have on Google Play Music and it allows you to choose between the speaker or pair a headphone so we'll take the speaker yep there you go you can hear it works pretty well um, you can I hate this focus sorry you can control the volume take it up take it down Works pretty good. Stable. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You can play anything from your Google Play Music library here. It's pretty decent, really. Well, thank you. Oh, there we go. Uh, something else that is working now is that slightly after the last update, there was an update to Google Maps and it crashed. It crashed so. You couldn't use Google Maps. Now, let me find Google Maps. Here it is. Now it's working. Pretty cool, huh? Um, another thing, someone asked me to do a CPU-C test on the Gear 2. So I, I, I'm I, sorry, I actually forgot for like over a year. Uh, and now he reminded me, and well, here it is. Okay, uh, so I site loaded CPU-C, here it is. I downloaded the APK to my computer and I installed it here. I have a video actually on how to do that. Uh, but unfortunately it won't work on Android Wear. So I looked for a benchmark I could use on Android Wear and I found... The, 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 I lost it, here, this one. VFP benchmark. So I installed it, I ran it, and these are my results. I will have an image here or somewhere about the results that were posted on the XDA developers thread. Uh, comparing it to a Sony Smartwatch 3, we are slightly behind, but we are like three years older, so it's not that bad actually. We perform very well. And overall, the performance in this ROM is pretty decent. Um, well, the extra instructions to installing this version are exactly the same as the previous one. You will first have to go to uh, download the files in the description. They will be down below. Then go into download mode, connect to your computer, open Odin, uh, select your files, press start. Factory reset when it boots into recovery, then reboot and wait. Uh, I mean, you can go to a previous video if you want to see the instructions more detailed. I'll include a link somewhere here. Um, but it's pretty straightforward to do. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and good luck. Bye.